Usually, with Botox, we have uh, the effect of the brow lifting. Sometimes people complain that instead of lifted eyebrows, they have dropped eyebrows. And sometimes we have also dropped eyelids. Okay? This is unusual. This is not the rule. The rule is that brows are lifted. Depends, of course, on the dosage of Botox. Depends also on the technique that injector uses. Usually we have lifting of the brows. Now, if on somebody's face we have uh, repeatedly a, a brow tosis instead of brow lifting, then the injector, the doctor actually, has to uh, adjust the technique, the points of injection, and has to adjust also dosage of Botox. Of course, here is uh, very important to mention that uh, Botox is a very sensitive uh, medication, and uh, some batches of this are of this medication are stronger, some others are weaker. The way they come from the distributors or from the factory. There are budgets that are stronger, budgets that are weaker. And as uh, I mentioned before, Botox is so sensitive medication that even minor changes of the outer temperature may affect the result of the Botox. Shaking of the vial, when we dilute the Botox with normal saline and we try to shake it like Frappe, for example, then we weaken the medication. So there are many factors that may affect the uh, final strength of the medication. Not all of injectors know that, and that's why we always recommend to do Botox and other treatments with qualified doctors because it requires a deep knowledge of the action of Botox so we can achieve the, uh, the best uh, results possible. How I'm going to inject the Botox and individualize the treatment for your face. So you will follow my instructions, stay tuned to what I say. It's not painful, the needle is very small, so we will finish quite soon. I start now. Now I'm trying to freeze the muscles of the forehead. Can you lift the brows again? Lift them up. Again, again. Okay, relax now, relax. With these injections, I will try to freeze some muscles of the forehead, of the mid-brow area, and of the crow's feet area. Okay. This will eliminate or improve all these wrinkles that are created by the contraction of the muscles. We call them dynamic wrinkles or expression wrinkles. And for these wrinkles, the Botox is indicated. Very good. And another one time, lift them up and relax. Theoretically, Botox could be applied anywhere on the face, but it's a little bit risky to apply it on the lower part of the face, where we have the muscles for the movement of the mouth. Okay. The result will uh, start to be visible from tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and it will take up to 10 or even 15 days for the final result. So you must be a little bit patient with uh, what you see on the face, okay, and for when you will see the final result. Finished. Uh, now, for the next four hours after the treatment, uh, you are not allowed to lie down. Uh, I recommend you not to go to gym or to do any strenuous activities. Don't massage the area, so if you want to apply some creams or to wash the face, just do it gently, okay? And every 10, 15, 20 minutes, just try to do some expressions of the face, like uh, surprise, frowning and closing the eyes. This will apply a gentle massage on the area and bottles will be distributed around proportionally. Okay, an alternative to Botox, to pharmaceutical brow lifting, as we call it, there is the surgical brow lifting. Of course, surgical brow lifting pre-existed before Botox, but because it's a surgical procedure, uh, 
that's why uh, people prefer Botox than the surgical correction of the position of the brows. We call it brow lifting or forehead lifting. There are many different variations and techniques to achieve that. In the past times, we just used coronal incision, which was a little bit terrifying and quite uh, invasive technique. So we, nowadays, we don't use this method. We rather use less invasive methods, tissue sparing methods, with just two cuttings on the sides of the head above the ears. Or we can use the endoscopically assisted uh, brow lifting, uh, which uh, consists of inserting a camera under the skin and uh, some instruments from three to five different small incisions that are done in the hair bearing part of the skin, of the scalp, and through this camera and these instruments, we lift the whole brow. This is, I think, the last technically the best uh, uh, method that we can use.